It's the NFL. exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Taylor. Oh, it's tipped, but he still makes the adjustment. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Taylor. Open man right side is Tony. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Taylor will throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
Well, Charles, you, you look at this defense. They were a very loose group coming into the week, knowing they kind of had the upper hand going into this one, taking on a team that hasn't won in a month and a half. And that works well for you if you establish your dominance early in the game against a team that's struggling. But if needs to get he gets this one away. There, they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. It's spotted at the 14-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. It was fun getting ready for this game, wasn't it? Because normally we talk to the coaches and the players. I think you and I asked to talk to the trainer to see how his arm is going to be. A lot of ice <laughs> after last week. <laughs> after last week's game, boy, what a performance that was. And you know who else is having fun? Receivers. Because they get a chance to do what they do best, which is go out and catch the ball. Yeah, and that last week effort he threw for well over 400 yards. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader. And the quarterback's typically dominating the MVP balloting. But I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing. And let's face it, partner. The running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The Eagles at 15 and 1 on the year. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. And they'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That gain on third down, good for 28. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions a lot there. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They go back to the ground with Sanders, down to about the 45. They're kind of a quirk in the schedule. These two division rivals didn't see each other much of the year. Their first meeting was just a few weeks ago, back in week 14. And it was the Eagles who got the win on the road. So now they look to finish off the sweep here in Philly. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in Still time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Kayvon Thibodeau able to get him for a loss of about three. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. 
It's a second down run with Sanders. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. So two sacks for the rookie, definitely making an impact here in year one. And in a ton of different ways because rushing the passer, that was supposed to be a skill that he was developing. Looks to me like he's figured it out already. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a one touchdown game. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside of 70 yards. It missed, and now this offense set up nicely at midfield. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. On second down, here's Barkley. Three yards is half of what they need. And now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up quickly with the four yards to pick up the first. Taylor now to throw on third down. From the left side, complete. That's Cook. He's got room at the 30. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. A first down carry for Barkley. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Taylor to throw. And they're going to get it. They bring it in the same thing the 16 yard line. That's Derek Barnett coming in and making the play. On third down, Taylor. knocked out and it's picked up by the Eagles and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back hey, we can push ball security all we want here but how about that effort on defense excellent job inside the red zone just took away at least three points by forcing that bumper offense making their way back out as we take a look at the playoff picture of the NFC. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might mean it means a home game. It means a number of other things. But winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. The play fake. Here's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slowing it up. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. 
Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Up the middle with Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 38. This offense so far on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Here's Taylor to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get the offensive. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So it's an empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently neither guy is immune. So it's all down to this week 18 on the NFL schedule. And that means that once we sort things out, we'll all be set for our second ever Super Wild Card weekend, which I think everyone agrees was a runaway success last year. we got two games coming up on Saturday, three more on Sunday, and then we'll put a bow on it Monday night. So they'll come up first and 10 now for the 33. Here's Hurts to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Aaron Sipos on to punt as he'll get this one away now. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Boy, that's asking a lot of your punt team there. They were not able to deliver. It's asking an awful lot of the punt team there because this fourth and four, fourth and three, you've got a chance, right? That's a manageable distance to try to pick up when you're running a fake. But when that number's actually been in the weight room and it's pumped up like it was, that's difficult to do, all right? So you might even think to yourself, if I let my offense on the field, would they be able to pick that up? You could run a nice play and not get that distance. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Still a couple of yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up the third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day they'll try to run for it with Berkeley and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28 yard line only three there on the pickup but that's enough to move the chains we all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield guy can take it the distance but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs 
That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? possession ball game and ideally you want to end every drive with points most quarterbacks are telling us end it with a kick right a PAT that's number one field goal you'll take punts you really don't want to do that in this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game and he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27 Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Throwing his Hurts. Taken in by Pascal out left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch in this first half for him, and this one is a first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pick up, first down. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First and ten, it's Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kayvon Thibodeau. My goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Buried behind the line by Aziz Ojolari. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega one side. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shot. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Taylor will throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Taylor throwing middle, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the 
shotgun. It's Taylor. He's got this complete, finding Cook on the crossing route. First down now, but that clock rolling. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Throwing again, it's Taylor. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Taylor incomplete on first down here, second and 10. Back to throw again. Nowhere to get away, and down he goes. Taylor is saved. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He's going to launch this thing way right downfield. And that will be incomplete. It's scared the minute five, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Taylor. He's going to take another shot here. And that is incomplete. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And it's the Cowboys who are out in front. Dak Prescott has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass there. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. Mac Jones has thrown a touchdown pass. With that, let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Giants. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back... to get the football and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback the Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter 
This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline. They drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Taylor. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in the garbage. And he shut that one down for the game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here, and we'll step aside. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Eagles will have him taking over first and 10. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Scott. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Off play action, it's Minshew. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Kayvon Thibodeau in there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Eagles send out their punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. But he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards, he will pick up the first down. Now it's Taylor. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he got this will wind up a loss on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Let's take it inside his own 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, the turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Minshew sets to throw. Oh, Pascal able to hold that one in. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, it's 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And the Giants have it, it's picked up. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. The 30. 10, 5, and this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. How about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go again with Scott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Now Scott. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. A good run there on first down and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now Minshew. That's complete to Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. We have to talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Here's Minshew. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Here comes the seventh play now in this drive as this is third and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. Got his man. It's our Sega Whiteside. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 23. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Here's Scott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven from the 20. Out of the gun is Minshew. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Minshew throwing on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. On fourth down, Minshew. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And the Giants are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, the decision there, fourth and goal. They go for it with this ball intercepted in the end zone. Hey, how about some applause for the stand by this defense just to force them into a four. Nowhere to get away, and down he goes. Two saves. Fletcher Cox able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to run. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Here's Taylor. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Open man, Arthago right side. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 16. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And this one complete to Smith. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. And there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment. That and he's in. Touchdown.
and that makes it 14-10. A drive that time of six points, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Chris taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Corbin had just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Taylor. Now quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. He's succinct. What a possession game. Every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Taylor on third down throws incomplete. The defense has been to the exact same job. Anytime they want to throw the football, there's pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And this will be taken at the 13. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. After the interception, here's Taylor. And complete right side to Cook. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. On second down, Williams. Get a yard to bring up 31. This offense on third down today. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success. Converting only three times. This time they fit. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down there. They'll try and throw for it with Taylor. Complete, they could not convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it with second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And some room to maneuver. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. Here's Taylor. 
And that'll be caught by Tony. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. On second down now, Corbin. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with your third and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Taylor. No, and it's Tony. He's got it. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. Now Taylor. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Taylor over the middle complete. That's Shepard. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Taylor going to give now to Williams. And over for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, that's in. Taylor. Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Scott with it again on second. And space opens a bit as he gets it across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got a man complete. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And look at this. They get the turnover they need. It's intercepted. Picked off by David Moore. And the Giants are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner. Here are the closing stages. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Fields it right around the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
as this offense takes the field against CD. Remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And this doesn't get there. It's no good. They had to go for it, but their final effort here is going to come up short. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And I tell you, these division games never for the faint of heart, but they come through with a tight victory here on the road. And you find yourself working harder in a game like this too, don't you? Yeah, because you got to stay sweat. with it, right? You got to stay with it. You got to stay locked in. It's our type of a game. And you just mentioned it. Division game on the road, tight, and they find a way to win it. Way to hunker down, as my old coach used to say, and find your way through. So for the Giants, they end the season on a high note, but it's a season.